So what I'm going to ask you to do, Sean, is I'm going to ask you to lay it on your back, on the pool table, like a willing sacrifice. I mean, help her. Sorry, excuse me. Now, if you want me to demonstrate, I can show you what position that I would hope that you'll take right now. And that is laying on your back, okay, with your head right near the pocket, not in the pocket. Let's have you come over this side over here, Sean. Now, Sean, we haven't rehearsed this, have we? No, no. You, you don't know what I'm about to do, do you? You have no idea. Well, little did you know that when you were picked to be the best man, this is a special surprise that we had waiting for you. So, if you would go ahead and lay on your back, Sean. And let me just adjust a little bit. Sean. Now, pool players are kind of funny, you know, they do kind of funny things, and I'm going to measure your head, and I'm going to guess that you're about a five-cube truck head. <laughs> and that means that you don't have a big head, okay? Because you know what happens when you have a big head, right? You, you end up missing the next shot because you're thinking about how good you are, and it's always a good idea to stay humble and not be thinking about yourself in the middle of the game. It's better to be thinking about that next shot and keep your focus. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you, Sean, to pick your favorite colored ball. What might that be? What color? Two ball. The two ball. Okay. We do have a two ball in here. Let's see. Let's pull that two ball out. And what I'm going to do, because you trust me, is I'm going to take a nice, clean piece of chalk, brand new, and I'm going to ask you to bite it between your teeth. Okay, got that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take your favorite ball, the deuce ball, and I'm going to balance it on that cube of chalk, and then I'm going to very carefully spear that ball out of your mouth into the corner pocket. How about a hand for our best man, Sean? Little did you know, but there's a story that goes with this shot, Sean. You see, I asked you if you trusted me, and you said you did. But Sean, let me just say this, that sometimes people disappoint you. Sometimes, when people say they're going to do something, it doesn't happen the way they say it's going to happen. And you get disappointed, and sometimes you get hurt. I think we've got a lot of people out there who have been hurt by people. Isn't that right, Sean? But don't worry, Sean, on this particular shot, I can assure you I've done it a thousand times and not once have I ever gotten hurt. <laughs> they got that. You. That's right, yeah. So I'll be alright, Sean, so just relax, okay, and enjoy the roll here. And what I'm going to ask you to do is, uh, by the way, uh, you have dental insurance? You don't need it. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask you to Put your hands in like a prayerful position. There you go. Because you're going to need it. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, what this e exemplifies here is trust. And now, I just did that illustration because really, Sean, your trust should be, and I see he's praying. And I, I think he's serious, too, because we have a serious moment coming up in prayer. But, you know, we can always trust. Jesus Christ. And as a Christian minister who's going to marry this couple, this wonderful, beautiful couple over here, I can tell you that Jesus will never let you down. I don't know what you're going through tonight. I don't know who's hurt you, who's disappointed you. I've had plenty of people hurt and disappoint me. I have a book over here that actually brought these two people together tonight, and that's why I'm here during the ceremony, because my wife, my beautiful wife Camille is here, and believe me, we've had a lot of pain and a lot of struggles. And we've learned to put our trust in Jesus. And if you want to read a lot of exciting pool stories about our travels around the country, we were two road players years ago, and all the things that we went through, the good, the bad, and the ugly, but then ultimately what it came down to was trusting Jesus. And so let me get on with this shot. I'm going to put the microphone down. Sean? Good? I 
gotta chalk up good here. Alright? Alright, now let me just adjust, you know, when you go to the dentist's office, sometimes that says move on a little bit. There you go, a little bit more. There you go, perfect. Okay? And still, alright? Now, go ahead and uh, open your mouth, bite that nice and tight. There you go, chin up. Perfect, don't move. Okay, here we go. Nice, don't move, we're doing good. We're doing great, doing very good. All right, Sean, keep it there, right there. All right, Sean, good job. Good job, Sean. Good job, Sean, you're doing great. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean! Good job, Sean. Good job, Sean, you're doing great. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean! Yay!